Valves, like many other components, require some routine maintenance and are susceptible to mechanical problems. In this part of the program, we're going to take a look at one type of valve problem, a leak. Then we'll look at a routine maintenance task that an operator may have to perform to keep valves operating properly. If a valve's packing becomes worn or fails completely, fluid will leak out around the stem. This type of leak is commonly referred to as a packing leak. In most valves, the packing can be adjusted to stop minor packing leaks. Packing is adjusted by alternately tightening the packing gland nuts, usually a quarter turn each at a time. This ensures that the packing gland doesn't become cocked in the stuffing box as the gland nuts are tightened. The packing is not the only place where a valve may leak. Another place is the joint where the bonnet of the valve attaches to the body. A leak in this area is commonly referred to as a body-to-bonnet leak. Still another place that valves can leak is where the body of the valve attaches to the piping system. On valve bodies with flanges, this leak is commonly called a flange leak. On valves that are attached to piping using methods other than flanged connections, this leak may simply be called a connection leak. The final leak that we're going to look at, and one that is not so obvious, is an internal leak through a valve. As a valve disc and seat wear, fluid may begin to leak by the seat when the valve is fully closed. When this happens, the valve is said to be leaking through. This leak can be detected only by carefully observing plant instrumentation or conditions on both sides of the valve. Besides locating and identifying leaks, another task that an operator may have to perform is valve lubrication. Valves need lubrication to prevent components from wearing during operation. Each type of valve may require a different type of lubricant or method to apply the lubricant. For example, some valves have grease fittings and require the use of a grease gun to lubricate them. While other valves may have the lubricant applied directly to a component, such as this valve stem. Because there are so many different methods that may be used to apply lubricant, you should always check your company's procedures before lubricating a valve. 